Hello buddy, welcome to another quick video. Now, I spent a sort of weekend up in the Peak District and we decided this morning, after a nice breakfast at Grindleford Cafe, well worth a visit if you're in the area, uh, popped up a surprise view in the, the Secret Garden. Um, the heather, the bracken's just starting to sort of darken down. The bracken's starting to change colour now as well, so some really nice effects from the ferns. Just got a little hint of turn on the silver birch. And obviously, just the light is quite harsh, but I think we might be able to do something with it. So, let's have a wander in and see what we can find. So, I think most of what I'm going to be doing today look for different patterns, different shapes. Uh, I mean, we're quite close to the road at the minute, so you might get a little bit of traffic noise in the background, but. Um, because the light's not amazing, we've had a couple of little sort of breaks through, uh, especially first thing this morning. Uh, got a couple of shots off of that, which might work okay. Uh, but a lot of it is going to be sort of picking out the shadows, picking out the shapes. Obviously, because of the silver birch, you've got this lovely white trunk that just stands out, it works really nicely. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be the plan for today, I think. Get a few shots in and uh, let's see what else we can find. So what we weren't expecting to find is the amount of fungi that we've sort of just stumbled across. Literally just at the side of the path, some absolutely astounding fly agarics. Um, obviously some shots are going to be taken, might get a few sort of nice low down bits, a little bit of fern in the background, should be quite nice. I mean obviously the perfect ones when you've got a bit of moss around them, but yeah, I'm not going to argue, it looks really nice. Uh, but this is literally just off the side of the path, we've come what, 100 yards into the wood and we find finding stuff like this. Could well be a good day, I think. Generally, if I'm doing trees and stuff like that, I'll try and hit to around about f8. Um, I find it gives quite good depth without sort of overcomplicated things like bringing the sort of the ISO too high or anything like that. Um, but what I find is quite nice actually in this bit, it's dropping down to f4, so you're getting a bit more separation. Um, it just seems to give quite a nice effect. I think because you've got quite a lot of the bracken around, and yes, although it is turning, you've not got sort of the big sort of contrasty colours. I think it actually works quite nicely. But some lovely old old shapes around here, the little dots of light coming through, uh, which is really nice. Looks like it'd be nice if the bracken was just a little bit darker. But yeah, we'll work with it. And so I think we've got a few nice little shots already, but we're going to carry on heading up towards the secret garden now and see if there's anything up there. So it skews the traffic noise in the background, but we've made it up to the top of the, uh, the rocks now. Um, we're in sort of the secret garden area as it's called. Um, the light is quite harsh though up here, but keep on looking for those little bits of fungi and stuff like that. Uh, keep on finding some bits, but some nice little shadows being cast as well, so there's still a chance to get some interesting shots. Um, the type of what I tend to look, look for when I'm sort of hunting out little bits is shapes and patterns, so things that sort of look pleasing are the sort of increment so left to right there's an incrementing or right to left incrementing in size or stuff where it's like an even pattern so you've got almost like sort of a full symmetry to the image it works really really well and in places like this you can find it anywhere there's just little bits just dotted around but just gotta be a little bit careful like I said shooting in the open because the bracken is really starting to throw quite a bit of light back and it sort of ruins the shot a little bit and there's a quite a bit of work done in post to actually bring that back into shape uh, but yeah, some, some lovely shots 
to a point if there's a bit of cloud to come across, we'll try and rattle off a few more and uh, see what they come out like. is to try and avoid getting as much sky in as possible but when it's like this you can't really help it so it's kind of trying to do it sympathetically and try and lead it into the sky and stuff like that especially if you've got a bit of cloud going on sometimes you can have a bit of a play with it uh, but yeah it's it's nice up here i'll say that much but nice few compositions coming out it's that sort of thing that probably give it another couple of weeks they're absolutely astounding for the colors i'll say the heather's dying back now there's a couple of little patches of color but not really a great deal uh but yeah it's a nice spot it's definitely uh want to keep on the uh, on the radar for sort of different times of the year I think also I'm not just looking at the tree I'm looking down below there's a few little mushrooms and dotted around as well as those massive fly garrets that we found on the way in um, some nice little effects with the ferns and the mosses and stuff like that uh, so yeah it's always handy to keep an eye down there but we've got quite a few little bits and bobs up here but now getting higher up the wind starts to sort of affect a few things uh, so it does make things a little bit more difficult uh, but definitely we've got some lovely compositions coming through some lovely shapes like I say not a lot we can do about actually like keeping the sky out of the image so I'm trying to sort of bring that in in sort of a sympathetic way I'll probably just bring that back in post um, or actually sort of alter the crop obviously I normally shoot at sort of the full ratio which is four by three on the mark four thirds uh, that gives you an option to sort of crop it down to whatever sort of size or shape you want to really um, if there's anything particularly that I think that works with a really wide, I'll actually shoot in high res so it gives me the option to crop that and not lose actually any of the resolution. So that's always a, a handy little option. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep on sort of wandering. We're getting sort of close to the top now. Uh, might have some interesting sort of shots down actually into the sun. Um, so sort of pick out any shadows that way. But yeah, we'll carry on climbing and see what's up there. you found that sort of little triple quite interesting and so we found quite a few little bits and bobs lots of little different compositions but more, yeah more of a scouting trip really today see if we can find anything that looks quite interesting and anything that we can see anything that yeah worth also taking notes I'll come back in a few weeks see what happens to the colours like I say I think when the bracken dies back a little bit more it could be really really nice to get that lovely deep contrast between like the white bark of the, uh, the silver birch right the way back in against those the really dark ferns to go with the dark heather I think it'll look really really nice but so I'm gonna leave it there for now and um, like I say we're actually just about to start quite a major climb up so so I might do a couple of shots from over the top as well when we get there but yeah if you've enjoyed the video please do hit the thumbs up it really helps us out and if you're not subscribed please do hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out it doesn't cost you a penny but as always thanks for watching we'll see you again next time